Hello researchers, how are you? I hope you are fine and doing well. In this video, I will be demonstrating how to install AIDE that is called Advanced Intrusion Detection Environment which is a file and directory integrity checker on CentOS 7. Now before we go with the installation part of AIDE on CentOS 7, let us first of all get ourselves aware regarding the introduction, its functionality and some of its features and some other amazing facts regarding about AIDE. If we talk of introduction, the Advanced Intrusion Detection Environment that is AIDE was initially developed as a free replacement for Tripwire licensed under the terms of GNU General Public License. The primary developers are named as Rami Lehti and Pablo Virolanen who are both associated with the Tempre University of Technology along with Richard Van Den Berg, an independent Dutch security consultant. The project is used on many Unix-like systems as an inexpensive baseline control and rootkit detection system. Basically, the stable release of AIDE was 0.15.1 which was released on September 10, 2010 about 5 years ago and the preview release is version 0.16a2 which was released on May 4, 2013 exactly about 3 years ago. AIDE environment is written in C and its operating system is Unix likes and it is having the type that is of security. And if you talk of the main website, it is a main website that is called aide.sourceforge.net. Now if we talk of functionality, how it works, let us first of all get ourselves aware into that. AIDE takes a snapshot of the state of the system, register hashes, modification times and other data regarding the files defined by the administrator. This snapshot is used to build a database that is saved and may be stored on an external device for safekeeping. When the administrator wants to run an integrity test, the administrator places the previously built database in an accessible place and commands AIDE to compare the database against the real status of the system. Should a change have happened to the computer between the screenshot created or the snapshot created and the test, AIDE will detect it and report it to the administrator. Alternatively, AIDE can be configured to run on a schedule and report changes daily using scheduling technologies such as cron which is the default behavior of the Debian AIDE package. AID is regarded as the mainly useful for security purposes given that any malicious change could have happened inside of the system would be reported by AIDE. Now what does it does? It creates a database from regular expression that it finds from the config files. Once the database is initialized, it can be used to verify the integrity of the files. It has several message digest algorithm that is called MD5 based that is used to check the integrity of the file. And it can read databases from older or newer versions. You can see the manual for further information. Now if we talk of the various features, here are some various features. It supports various MD5 algorithms such as MD5, SHA-1, CRC32, SHA-256, SHA-512, Whirlpool and many others. And it supports various file systems that is in terms of file types, permissions, inode, UID, GIDs, block counts and much more. And it supports POS6, ACL, SA Linux, etc etc and many more features. So the current stable release is 0.15.1 and the current development version of AD is 0.16b1. And if we talk of further, you can see that it is available for Linux, Solaris, Macintosh, FreeBSD, Unixware, BSD, OpenBSD, AIX, True64, HU, UX and Cygwin which means it is not available for Windows operating system. Now, one of the interesting facts is about that, that it is having the main list, future developments, that is future plans towards UTF-8 support, thread, signed database and signed configuration files. And as I've already told you that it was originally written by Rami Latti and Pablo Verolin in 1999. Between 2003 and 2010, it was maintained by Richard Van Den Berg, which, which is regarded as a Dutch security consultant. But in October 2010, Hans von Hagswitz took over the project for the mailing addresses you can take the author's files. So, let us now go to CentOS 7 and let us give some commands how to install AADE. So, let us start with the CentOS version. So, let me unlock this and let me log in with the root. So, here is the terminal and here are the, all the commands which I have created for you so that you can able to install AID without any hiccups on CentOS machine. So, the first thing which we have to do is to install the basic repository which I always do like uh, if we talk of Ubuntu, we always do with the apt-get update and over here we have to install the EPL release repository which I have already installed it. So, the first part is to install that is AID that is intrusion detection, advanced intrusion detection environment on CentOS 7 with this firing command. 
that is called yum install AIDE. So with a simple command, the AID will be automatically downloaded and configured into your data, into your CentOS 7 database. So because it's a new CentOS machine, I have already told you that new CentOS machine will take some time or maybe due to some less, uh, you can say sometimes your net connections can give some uh, uh, errors into the crawling of the mirror. So there is no need to worry. If you want to configure, you can just give the command again. So you can see that the bearers are loaded and now the package has been determined. So it is about very less download size. It's about 129 KB. So which means it's less than a 1 MB and it'll take just uh, 3 MB for the disk space. So let us press Y and press enter so that it can be downloaded and installed. So it is very fast and it has been installed. So let us verify the version and verify the AID version with the command that is AID hyphen small V. So you can see that this is compiled with the following options that is MMAP, POSIX, SE Linux, Prelink, XSR, E2F, LSTD, Read, uh, Readair, Zlib, Gcrypt, or, uh, Audit and much much more. So let us initialize the database so that it can take a snapshot of the database and uh, once it is created let us rename the database and then we will be testing it so whether it is working or not. So AID space minus minus init. So it will take some time and after taking time it will be taking every snapshot you can see over here so you can see that the entire Linux file system uh, uh, you can say snapshot is being taken by AID because it is again called an intrusion detection system so uh, the full snapshot of the system is to be done so it will take some time it'll it, it can take up to one to two minutes but uh, I want you that you should uh, see in the video that how everything is being uh, crawled by AID and how much it is effective I can say that AID, when I was researching on AID, it was, uh, I think so that as even as a security researcher and as a professional hacker, I can say that uh, it is much secure and it's a must uh, system admin task if you are a systems administrator and your company or organization is using CentOS 7. So AID is must use package for you people. So you can say that all files of user slash lib64 and all the library files are also being crawled. So it is creating the database. So in order to test it, what we have to do is to, uh, is to once the database is created, we can move it to original one by renaming it to make the AID work. So let us copy this command and let us wait for this to finish so that we can fire all the commands into our AID version. So we will be renaming the database so that we can make a test file and then we can see that whether it is able to test or detect that intrusion or not so that we must assure that uh, it is working properly and what is its beauty in working. So now the Python files are being crawled. So you can say that it will take some time because it is taking the snapshot of the entire Linux machine. So now the syslogs and mod props, so which means all the hardware based files and even the firewall files are also being uh, uh, taken uh, in the crawling version of this uh, AADE. So till it does, uh, let me pause the video for some time because it will take some much time. So I will return once the database has been created. So now you can see that the AADE that's the latest version 0.15.1 which was talking in the introduction part it has been initialized so let us once the database is created you have to move the original one by naming it to make it to ADA work so let us paste this command and let us move the database so the database has been moved so let us open this uh, folder go to this folder that is cd slash vas slash lib slash ADE and let us do the ls so there is a one file so ls space minus lt it shows you another the permissions over here so run the AID check with the command that is let me clear this so AIDE space minus minus check so again it is checking whole of the database so it will again take some time 
So at the first moment, it will take some time. But after that, if you want to update that database, it will be taking much less time because the crawling has already been done. So you can see that all the user modules are being detected. So after that, what we have to do is to confirm the functionality and we will add a test binary file and then we will see that what is being done. So you can make the cron job so that it can be able to detect automatically and works on a proper manner at regular basis if you are good into cron. And in my coming videos I, uh, or my Red Hat administration, I will be covering, uh, covering cron, anacron, at command in a very depth manner. So just wait for that video. So it will take some time. So let me pause the video for some time. So now you can see that uh, with the updation, it has uh, checked all the files and it has seen that it is about 1,11,720 files, added files are zero and removed files are zero. So I have changed one file. So it is saying that it has changed one file. So the application state, so everything is being listed. So let us create one binary file and check whether it's AADD detected. So let us go with this uh, command that is touch by create a file and let us paste it. So now let us give this command AD check and let us check whether it is able to detect this file or not. So let us give this command. So it will again be crawling the database and let's wait that whether it will be able to check the detection or not. So it will again take some time. So I just uh, pause the video and show you the result. So now we can see that it is almost over with the crawling and at any time we can see our result. That is whether it is able to detect our test binary file which we have created or not. So I can say that AADE is one of the very cool software and it's a very good security software in terms of intrusion detection but it is somewhat very slow which I feel it is somewhat very slow in detection so we have to bear with the messages we have to bear with everything over there and then it gives the results but as a detection environment i i expect something good but still we have to go with some limitations because it is purely into c and uh, you can say linux is everything is file based so seeing the complexities as well as the working of this uh, intrusion detection system it is still having you can say a good amount of security and uh, output so let's wait for some uh, few seconds more and at any time we can get the result so you can say that almost all the files of sbin uh, modem manager, SE, Linux packs, etc. So everything has been detected. You can see all the log over here. Let me show you the log so you can see everything has been detected with the user level. Every everything. So every file is being detected. Let's wait for some time. Result can come at any time now. So some files will be easy to scan, but some files do have a bigger content, so it w can take some time. So the complete detection of my system takes about five to seven minutes, but if you do more work on CentOS, it will take much more time. So beware that that uh, it's not a uh, very fast software to, to give you results in no time. So till it uh, uh, gives you the result, let me pause the video for some time. So now you can see that the result has come and now you can see that the file which is being there that is user slash sbin slash test binary which I have created it has detected. So change file has come and edit file has also come. So with this I, I can say that the intrusion has been detected and if you want to update the database you can just give this command aid space space update. So in this video, I have shown you how to install and detect a threat that using advanced intrusion detection environment on CentOS 7. So do give this a shot. Do implement this AD into your server environment. Do share with your friends. Do like this video. Thank you so much for watching.